And our in-depth coverage of opening day at McCoy continues. As the season gets underway, the future of the stadium is still up in the air. And last week, we told you that the Paul Sox are hoping to replicate Fenway Park in Pawtucket, but right now there are still questions. Highway to Sioux supporter Kim Kalunian is live in Pawtucket with more from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. Kim? Well, Mike Shannon, I'm here on the field at McCoy for opening day, but we could soon be seeing the Paw Sox playing at one of two different locations here in the city of Pawtucket. But as far as details on a timeline or the specifics of funding for those proposals, details remain scarce. 75 years at McCoy Stadium. Monday marks another home opener. Our hope today is that we bring everyone together, share the sunshine, share the baseball. Paw Sox President Charles Steinberg says although there are plans to potentially leave McCoy for a yet-to-be-built stadium, their loyalty remains in Pawtucket. This is our home. This is where we want to stay. The team and the city are currently looking at two sites. This wooded area on Taft Street called the Tidewater Site, where a stadium would be built along the Seekonk River, and here, where the iconic Apex store stands in the shadow of 95. Steinberg says the team wants to leave it up to the city, which site is best. And our suspicion is because of the proximity to the downtown area that the Apex site might be the most effective. Pawtucket's Director of Administration, Tony Pyers, says the city commissioned an economic impact study of the two sites and expects the results in the coming weeks. There are folks like me who just love baseball, but at the end of the day, it's a business decision, and it's a business decision on behalf of the taxpayers of the state and the city. Just how much money taxpayers could be asked to pay for the new stadium and how soon, neither Pyers nor Steinberg was ready to say. There's no there's no financing plan, but you can be sure that the Paw Sox would pay their fair share, even though it's a public park. And the owners of the Paw Sox say the plan right now is to stay here at McCoy through the end of their current lease, which expires in January of 2021. But with plans to potentially move, we asked what fans can expect to see on opening day of next year. We'll tell you more about that coming up new at 6. Also at 6 o'clock, you can watch this game live over on MyRI TV. For now, reporting live in Pawtucket with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Ibitus News. As you just heard, while the Paw Sox may have at least one or two seasons at McCoy after this one, it may not be long before they get a replacement. And new at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian has new information on a timetable for construction. She continues our opening day in-depth coverage now live from Pawtucket with a Blackstone Valley mobile newsroom. Kim? Well, Mike Shannon, we're here at McCoy Stadium where the Paw Sox are about to take the field, but they soon could be playing at a new location here in Pawtucket. And while details about that remain scarce, a city official did tell me today that by opening day of next year, a new stadium could already be under construction. Sun shines on McCoy Stadium for opening day 2017. And with plans for a new stadium in the works, the city of Pawtucket could look a little different by this time next year. Fans coming to McCoy Stadium to see opening day in 2018 uh, would be able to drive by a site that is uh, that the cranes are in the sky and that uh, ground has been broken and, and construction has uh, begun. That's the ideal situation, according to Pawtucket's Director of Administration, Tony Pyrus. Currently, an economic impact study is being conducted for two potential future homes for the Paw Sox. A ballpark should be where it does the most good for a community. Our suspicion is, because of the proximity to the downtown area, that the Apex site might be the most effective. Pyrus says they'll eventually approach the owners of the Apex site and the General Assembly to see how they can iron out a deal. For now, both the team and the city aren't offering many details about funding. There's no, there's no financing plan, but you can be sure that the Paw Sox would pay their fair share, even though it's a public park. And Pyrus tells me today that economic impact study is scheduled to be completed in the coming weeks, at which point they'll begin releasing more details about their plan. He also says that public hearings will play a major role in this process. Reporting live in Pawtucket with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Kim. And a reminder, you can watch tonight's Paw Sox home opener as well as Saturday night games live on MyRI TV.